Hey everyone, it's day six of 31 days of AR, VR, and EDU. Today's tool is Halo AR. If you're wondering if you've already heard this tool, you're correct. I was excited to share out Halo AR when I introduced my latest book, The Immersive Classroom, when my book cover comes to life. So I was excited when that tool came out and it really was a very simple way of being able to use augmented reality and layering it on top of different trigger images and immediately making the content. And really I think Halo AR hit home because so many people were upset that HP Reveal went away, um, or Erasma, whatever you remember it to be. And when it went away, there was a lot of questions of what tools out there are available to us. So Halo AR definitely hit home when it came to that need. But there's a lot you can do with it. You can add 3D content, you can add video, you can add photos, you can even add audio on top. But what I wanna cover today is looking at some of their latest updates. The first update I'm going to mention with Halo AR is the new YouTube integration. And what it allows you to do is easily search for YouTube videos. Instead of having to download videos or upload different videos that you've created, you also have the option of just easily searching for YouTube videos to layer on top of your trigger images. The next update is aligned with new video recording feature that gives you a higher resolution. It used to be that you can upload your own video, but the quality of the video was pretty poor. So this gives you a chance to upload some quality videos and work with your quality trigger images. So it just makes a better experience for your students. The next update is using collections. And I love this because you can share out your collections already with your students where you can do it by link, you can use your collection code to be able to share with your students. But now they have the new feature of being able to share your QR codes. What a simple way for your students to easily scan that QR code and see all the content available to them right there. Another really great addition to the Halo AR app is surface tracking. So this is where your students can go in and see your content. And even if they don't have that trigger image available to them right where they're at, they can still see that content show up in their space. In addition to that, occlusion is now included where you can actually see this content layered in your space. So instead of just seeing something kind of floating in, in the space on its own, there are things like a hand or an object that now could be layered in front or behind those objects that you have placed inside of your immersive experience. So really good way of making this much more realistic for students to experience, even if they don't have your trigger image available. Another really great addition to the Halo AR app is using GIFs. And this is a fun way to just invite your students to enjoy content through animated overlays. And so if you're just enhancing the content that you already have there, if you're adding in something really exciting or emphasizing different pieces of what you have on your trigger image, this will be a really simple way to enhance your content already. Last but not least, I love that Halo AR has made a way for you to be able to collaborate and communicate with them and with others about Halo AR using Discord. So this gives you a chance to go in and talk to one another, ask questions, share really cool ways you're using it, and that server is available for you to be able to go in and explore and learn more. Um, this is really just one of those ways that Halo AR is making this so perfect for a classroom situation and inviting you to jump in and start using this immediately. So I hope you enjoy Halo AR and all the great updates that they've had. And I can't wait to see you again tomorrow.